Hello everyone, and welcome back to CSSBattle.dev. It is November 6th, and uh, we got a good one here. Uh, we got a circle in the middle, uh, and then a couple of half circles back on each, um, what do you want to call it, a cardinal direction? I think that's right, yeah. Anyway, uh, this one is interesting, right? Um, I tried, I've seen some people do uh, uh, tricks with box shadow. That way they, can, they only need to make one element and they can box shadow the rest of them. Uh, however, that only works for solid elements, as in one solid color, one solid shape. So. With our shape here, we have a circle, like an outlined circle. So it's it's basically a circle uh, with a border. And you can't box shadow a circle with a border. You box shadow it and it just creates one circle. Though I do wonder if there's a way to do like a radial gradient instead of a solid color. I don't know, that's something to consider for another time. Uh, but in this case, instead of trying to be fancy, I just made a, a bunch of elements. So one, two, three, four, five, six elements. Um, and that makes five of them the same shape, the same color, the same border. All of that, um, the only difference is the placement. So, you know, the, the way we place things on HTML, the first elements are the ones in the back. So there's one, two, three, four of those circles that are the same exact shape and size as that middle circle. But those are going to be behind this square element. You see how it cuts off these circles, kind of makes them half circles. So you got this square element that kind of blocks the rest of those four circles. And then you got the middle circle right there boink, in the center. So you got the four elements, you got that block, and then you got the last one. And styling is pretty straightforward, right? Um, again, I wonder if you could do it with a radial gradient instead of doing it with a border. But for now, border is easy. I know how to do it. So, you know, sometimes you stick with what you know, especially when it comes to time constraints. But we'll get more to time constraints in a minute. I got something to talk about with that. But back to our CSS. You position everything correctly and... Um, I did try something a little bit different with this one. Instead of creating a bunch of elements with particular IDs, right? Usually I do divs with ID whatever, and then I call those IDs and sometimes call multiple IDs and do a thing with them. I wanted to try uh, uh, something called child, uh, child calling. I know it sounds a little weird. Um, <laughs> not as weird as master and slave uh, but essentially it's a parent-child relationship with these elements so you got the the outer element and then anything inside of it is called a child so in this case our body is our outer element our parent element and all of the little bits our P's and A's are going to be our child elements so for this particular case I wanted to try something with the, those elements calling the children rather than their particular IDs and it worked out pretty good it worked out pretty all right um, I'll be honest I had to look up how to use them again because uh, it's been a while but essentially it's just you know you, the first child um, is like the, the first element within the body um, the first element of, well, the first P element, I guess. Uh, but essentially, I could have just used uh, something called nth child, and then you got the um, 
open parentheses and then you put the number of which what would the number of the what the count is for that child so I had one two three four five children in this one five children of the same element yep Essentially, it's just the same thing over and over again, uh, but positioned differently, right? You get that. Now, on to time constraints. I am going to have to say goodbye to this commentary. It's been fun. I love experimenting with new things. I, I, I love having a YouTube channel. It's, it's, been, it's been cool. It's been a nice little experience. And, you know, I'm just recording something I'm doing every day anyway. And I just like to throw some commentary over it. Maybe it's just for myself. Maybe a few people listen. If you're listening, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Be good to yourself. Do your hobbies right. Always learn something new. And keep going. Right? I want to be a little inspirational. But... I don't always have the time to do it. So at the moment, I am also working on my portfolio and I kind of have, a, have a, a big project ahead of me and I haven't been spending enough time on it. Uh, that's uh, it's a it's an e-commerce site. So I built one e-commerce site with um, WordPress. And, you know, WordPress is supposed to make it easy for you. And then you sign up with a, a payment card and it gives you all of the little nitty gritty bits that you want. It, particular styling, uh, you can mess with the text, make it all fancy. Uh, there's even uh, gradients that you can mess with if you pay for them. And then there's also uh, the, the shopping cart functionality that you get if you pay for like the premium WordPress stuff. But I'm, I'm a man of oh, detail, I suppose. So if I'm going to build an e-commerce site, I'd like to do it from the ground up. Uh, I wanted to showcase that I could do it with WordPress because WordPress is pretty popular. It's not that crazy. Essentially, if you know how to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you know how to use WordPress. The trouble with WordPress, though, is if you are a front-end dev like I am, WordPress walls you out of a lot of its functionality, a lot of functionality that you could be messing with. Like, I know how to mess with the code behind the scenes, but as soon as I try to publish it, there's a little message that says, hey, uh, we don't allow you to use that kind of styling. You're going to have to pay for the premium stuff. And then it outputs just some generic stuff. It sucks. I want to use gradients. I want to use a, a like Google API uh, text stylings. You know, there's there's a lot of font families out there that are much fancier than just uh, sans. <laughs> but that's how it is. So the big project is creating an e-commerce site. And it's it is a big one. It's going to take a lot of work for me, and I think I'm going to use a framework like Angular. So I'm, I'm going to be learning a new technology while also trying to build something from the ground up. It's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of effort, a lot of mental focus. So as much as I love to do these commentaries and to tell you, dear listener, that you are valuable and you are loved, I have to think about myself in this case. I have to think about where I'm spending my time and I have to think about my priorities. And I hope you do as well. So for now, I have to say goodbye. And in the near future, uh, there, there will be no uh, next time. I'm still going to upload. I like doing CSS Battle. And it's easy to hit the record button, listen to some music, get the code out and then publish it it's the editing that comes along with the commentary 
um, that takes a lot more time. I mean, this is just 10 minutes right off the bat. And then I got to put it in to the computer and do the editing and the cutting and all of that and the, the audio adjusting. So for now, I must say goodbye, but I wish you all well. Goodbye for now. Remember to take care of yourselves. Leave me comments. I'm ready to chat. Check out the details of the video. I may have something special for you in there as well. Yeah. See you around, guys. Take care. Bye for now.